The Error of Judging Others From, Benny A. Sudiawan Photographer, M. F. Dottie Abdurakman An elderly Chinese woman had two large pots, each hung on the ends of a pole, which she carried across her neck. One of the pots had a crack in it while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water. At the end of the long walk from the stream to the house, the cracked pot arrived only half full. For a full two years this went on daily, with the woman bringing home only one and a half pots of water. Of course, the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishments. But the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its own imperfection, and miserable that it could only do half of what it had been made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be bitter failure, it spoke to the woman one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your house. The old woman smiled, did you notice that there are flowers on your side of the path, but not on the other pot's side? That's because I've always known about your flaw, so I planted the flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walk back, you water them. For two years I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate the table. Without you being just the way you are, there would not be this beauty to grace the house. Each of us has our own unique flaw. But it's the cracks and flaws we each have that make our lives together so interesting and rewarding. You've just got to take each person for what they are and look for the good in them. The woman in the story, just like God, uses what appears to the world to be our flaws with a greater purpose in mind. The fundamental reality of a Christian's life is that we belong to the Lord and the Lord alone is the judge who will decide our present value and our eternal reward.